so this is a series 60 right um an old school engine from 2000 i mean like it was like for 94 95 i believe um all the way to 2003 2004 those were the last ones they were pretty easy to fix a little room all over you can see I mean, on this classic XL, but if you have a Century class, it was a piece of crap to work on those. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you how easy it was in the past. I'm sorry for the thing that is making so much noise, but anyway, I'm going to show you how easy it was in the past to go to the uh, DDL software. This is the old version DDL software. So over here you have your instrumentation where you can see everything. See, these are all the electrodes you have. Coolant, oil, air, and fuel. Nothing else. For the newer ones with EGR, you want to have the EGR over here. And see, it's so simple. There is not many things to look. Over here, misfire, so simple. User, you can put whatever you want there. And so the data here, and you have multiple information here and some other stuff here jailbreak which this didn't work at all you can use this for jailbreak and you never gonna know the problem because this one doesn't even activate anything uh, some of the options over here are not good at all and uh you go to the fall codes over here and then you get the fall codes over here see engine break engine break uh, cool and low la, 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 and stuff like that very simple solution everything in the past used to be electric so it didn't have that many electronic components as the newer Cascadias and Cummins ISX and all that and have two wires for 100 functions, we can call it. In this case, it was like one wire for each specific function. That's the reason why you get different cuts like this. And it was easy to fix. One wire fell, cut it, fix it, put a new one, that's it. But the new ones, I mean, you have to replace the whole harness completely because it's not so easy. Anyway. Uh, and let's see this is for the calibrations see this if you wanna increase the speed and everything let's see how this one is see 65 this is super low speed limit i'm gonna increase it because i'm pretty sure he will want it more but i'm pretty sure this one has the let me see where is the the shifting? The pro oh no, it doesn't have the progressive shifting. See this one over here? It doesn't have it, so that means it is cool. So we go to speed limit again. We replace it. Hopefully, it is not locked with uh, something. So we put it 75 because this is our owner operator. So let's do 000. zero, zero. Hopefully, it does. If it doesn't, it's yeah. So. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So the cruise control gotta be the same speed. Let's see where the cruise control over here. We go to the cruise control, and it's maximum 75. Okay, that's maximum 75. Okay, it was 85, it was higher, and didn't allow me. Well, anyway, let's send it, let's see what happens. Yes, it worked. So it is 75 now, which is cool. I mean, it's more than enough speed. But I'm just showing you how easy it was before to do calibrations and stuff like that on these uh, engines. Didn't have that much um, complications on it. And now we have 70, 75 speed limit, which is good. And cruise control is 75 as well. I think we can do we can do we cannot do more than 75 which is bad i'm pretty sure we can do more than 75 here let's see 78 let's try yeah in case they need i mean they put the cruise control they need a little more speed and all that so you know how it is if you are a driver or owner operator and uh it was pretty simple i mean you have the coolant protection modes over here you didn't have the SCR system so you see colon so on this one it is good to be warning over here because if the coolant level is getting low it wanna shut down 
and uh, when the coolant temperature is good, then it's shut down to warning is good for the coolant level here. And these ones are good, oil temperature and oil pressure gotta be uh, 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 shut down no matter what. Uh, let's see, let's see what else. See, this one didn't even have the big number inside the computer. It was, I mean, didn't give a you know anything about it, didn't get down about it. And uh, we got all that. So let's transmit all that because the horsepower on this engine is pretty, sh pretty low. Knowing that this is a CD60 with a classic XL, it's supposed to be 500 horsepower, but it is not. It is like very disappointing. I want to show you right now. What? Yes, I, I wish to say yes. Oh, no, 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 I don't wish to take this. No, no, I don't want to do the file. No, all right. So, uh, we go here, calibrations, here, calibrations, and we click on calibration, and we go to ratings here. And see, this one is very pathetic. 430 horsepower for this big ass truck. This is a big ass truck. The classic Excel with a big engine. Everybody thinks it's a 500 horsepower. But it is not and I just want to see over here. What is the horsepower rating on the engine? Uh, let's see. All right here for 70 Yeah, for 70 So that means then that computer could not be the right computer for this truck because this one is maximum at seven a uh, four seventy a uh, seventy so uh and this one is four thirty so that means then this computer won't be the right one I can clearly see that let me see uh two thousand one it doesn't have the engine serial number no it doesn't have the engine serial number that's the reason I cannot tell if it's the one correctly for this engine so this is the unit number, the serial number. Uh, well, yeah, so that means that the computer is not the computer for this truck and that's the reason why the rating over here is so pathetic. 430, stupid. But anyway, uh, this was so easy to do everything over here. Calibrations, injector calibrations here. Used to put that. Nobody did that in the past. Nobody. That was it didn't affect at all. Uh, to be honest. Uh, well, that's all. So it's a little walkthrough on the system of this old Series 60s, uh, which was very easy to work on. I mean, like, not very easy because some of the things are hard to work, but I mean, like it was very basic. Uh, that's what I can call it. It was a basic work to do. It was not that advanced like the newer technology on the trucks in this era anyway find this video interesting comment below you know i guess you opinions are going to matter um leave your thoughts recommendations anything about it on the description of this video too i mean on the description on the comments of this video when i send support to my channel check the description of the video i have details how to send support to my channel um that way I can do videos like this. I mean, I, I just thought to do this video. Actually, I was not going to do a video very, but I was like, why not? I mean, there is many people that doesn't even know how these engines were because there is mean, many new drivers, old drivers that are there not too long. I mean, like they, they haven't been driving for that long in this uh, business. So uh, it is good, you know, study old technologies so you can understand new technologies. That's something that I believe is right but everybody has their own opinions. And don't forget to uh, share the video, you know, share it with everybody. Uh, like it, it's important as well. And uh, thank you for watching as always, you know, as it helps me a lot and you guys are watching my videos that way. I can uh, continue making helpful videos, you know, like for everybody and uh, everybody gets to learn something new every time they watch my videos somehow we all helping each other you guys helping me and i i helping you guys at the same time stay tuned on my channel